The 20th century was a century of unsound money, and it's no coincidence that it was also a century of total war and the omnipotent government. We can go back through the archives and look at how every war was funded, and you'll quickly come to the realisation that without inflation, there'd either be no wars at all, or they'd end in a whimper, as the government can no longer fund it. Soldiers are willing to put their lives on the line for politicians, but not their wages. 1914 was the first year of operation for the Federal Reserve, and just eight months later the first shots were fired in World War I. And the bombs haven't stopped since. With World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, and the War on Terror, among countless others. You'll notice throughout the centuries, the way governments have typically financed wars is by inflating the currency supply, either by suspending the gold standard and printing paper substitutes, or debasing the money through coin clipping and mixing in cheaper metals like copper and aluminium. This chart from inflationdata.com shows the total inflation since the Federal Reserve System was established. The first 138 years of America, consumer prices declined by an average of 0.2% per year. The United States has incurred six major inflations in its history. The Revolutionary War inflation, the War of 1812 inflation, the Civil War inflation, the World War I inflation, the World War II inflation, and the Vietnam War inflation. All of these episodes had the same cause, a rapid increase in the money supply. In 2003, when the US invaded Iraq, aerial bombardment destroyed the Iraqi Central Bank and with it the capability of the Iraqi government to print new Iraqi dinars. This led to the dinar drastically appreciating overnight as the people of Iraq became more confident in the currency given that no central bank could print it anymore. A similar story happened to Somali shillings after their central bank was destroyed. As can be seen, what comes from the artificial increase in the currency supply is not only rising prices, but a tragic loss of life. 